Okay, let, let's let's shift gears here. O2 count. Mm-hmm. And a guy has first this is your first or second to bat against a starter, and a guy has four different pitches that he can throw over for any time. I guess add more context. This we'll just say it's high level division one for now, and then we can mm-hmm. maybe move on to the the pro side. But high level division one SEC pitcher, he's got at least three pitches he can throw any point in the count, and a fourth pitch that he's developing, but it's still pretty nasty for the collegiate level. You're down the count, o two. What's the approach there? What are you looking for? How do you still give yourself a shot to beat this guy when the numbers say that there's a low probability you may do that? So we must be facing Vanderbilt. That sounds, sounds that's fair. Like somebody they would we'll have. Go, we'll go to Vanderbilt, or, yes. or or Georgia, yeah. where they got some arms. Um, I would probably pretend like I had something in my contact lens. Okay, and then to, to try to break 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 the inertia of that pitcher that got me O two. Yeah, you know, maybe step out a little bit, take a breath. You know, maybe try to mess with him. Oh, my lens! I got some dirt in there. Okay, now I'm, and maybe I'm thinking about what I need to do. So. When I'm in defensive mode, um, again, it, it depends on the situation of the game, right? I mean, I got maybe the infield's back. There's a run. There's runners on second and third, or, or you know, all I got to do is put a ball in play. You know, yeah. all I have to do is put a ball in play. Like a little ground ball is going to get a run in. Yeah. You know, Betts is on third, mm-hmm. who sets the record for the greatest jumps ever. <laughs> yes, from third. But God, is he so? Oh, is he instinctual and prepared? Anyway, yeah. um, I would usually look for the out pitch. Okay? okay, so I'm looking for that slider. I'm looking for that curveball, which is going to be slower. Mm-hmm. Okay, so by it being slower, it's telling me I need to wait longer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if I need to wait longer, I need to slow my rhythm down. That's the way we work on it when I'm training players. We're going to slow our rhythm down. Sure. And if he throws us 95 on the inside part of the plate, mm-hmm. we're going to lose. Mm-hmm. Okay, but if he throws us that out pitch, and we're letting everything travel a little bit more, and we're kind of anticipating slower with break, you know, we're going to have a better chance to hit that breaking pitch that is his out pitch. Or more importantly, we won't chase it because if we're looking for something that's a little bit slower and that's breaking, we're going to make sure it doesn't start out down because sure. if it starts out down, it's going to be in the dirt. So we're looking for something to start out at our chest. And we're going to be able to hit it. Now, again, if we're looking for something that starts out at our chest, the guy throws 95 mile an hour fastball at our chest. Mm-hmm. We're, you know that that's we're we're, we're probably going to chase that pitch, right? Right. And then right. you know we're going to lose, or if, but we're not going to lose on that pitcher's best pitch. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then you can trace it back to you know what this is why every team strikeouts like you know 10, 11 times a game. Yeah. Right, because of situations like this, you're 0-2 with a guy that throws really good pitches. So then I would have a conversation is remember that, you know, that 0-1 fastball you took. Yeah. Yeah, that was the pitch you should have hit that at bat. Okay. Yeah. But this but you're But yes, I'm in a I'm in a defensive mode. I mean, for the most part I'm in a defensive mode. Yeah. Um if there's runners on base that that I can either move up or score. Now if if there's a runner on first and there's two outs, mm-hmm. maybe I'm still looking for that slider, but I'm not looking to just put it in play. I'm looking I'm looking to drive this thing in the gap with one swing and hopefully hit a double to drive that runner in from first. And if I fail, I fail. I make it out. But hitting a single there doesn't do us any good. Mm-hmm. You know, hitting a single with a runner on first, you know, that brings up the next guy, but this pitcher's still a stud, right? So yeah. we saw it in the playoffs. You got to hit extra bases. You got to hit home runs. You got to – get a walk and a double or a walk and a home run or a couple, you know, you have to take advantage of that one pitch. So what I'm banking on there with a runner on first base and two outs is I'm looking for, even though I have two strikes, I'm still looking to drive a ball. And if I strike out, I strike out, but I'm looking to hit a double somewhere. I'm still looking for, you know, probably that off speed pitch. And yeah. I, but I'm going to drive that thing into the opposite field gap. That's my mindset versus I'm just trying to put it in play. I'm, I'm letting it get super deep and I'm really defensive. Maybe I'm choking up. I'm not going to have that in a different situation. 